Hello and welcome to Insights from Autistic. I am Armand Kodai, uh, a 23-year-old individual of high-function autism. Today's video, we're going to discuss alternative treatments that could potentially lead to some form of a cure for autism. Not, not a 100% cure, but to get your child to where they might start verbalizing, or you see greater amounts of eye contact, etc. So the first of these I'm going to discuss is meditation and the power of meditation. I myself and also other people who have worked with individuals with autism have noticed huge improvements uh, with the client with autism when, when someone meditates. Um, for instance, I work at a tutoring center and, and, uh, and my boss, he meditated for about 20 minutes with the uh, autistic child. Well, the autistic child wasn't meditating, but he was and this was a non-verbal autistic and then after 20 minutes the the child said I like you now this is coming from a non-verbal autistic and then and then after that after a few months of working with me he finally got, he got the child to start talking and starting to form sentences and that was from meditating uh, so how does one go about meditation well there's there's many forms of meditation you can find them online uh, there's this meditation where you sit in silence. Personally, my favorite form of meditation is sitting with a group. And uh, the most powerful meditation that I've discovered for myself is the open heart meditation. And one of the great things about this open heart meditation is you focus on your heart. And I myself have noticed a huge improvement with my life myself, not just in those that I work with, but in my life. And also, this one individual of autism who, who is low functioning but verbal I, I meditated with the open heart meditation a few minutes before seeing him and he was talking more way more than he usually does and so I, I strongly believe actually I strongly know that meditation can definitely improve your child's life and so it also improves your life too if you meditate and so you know, if you meditate for just half an hour each day, and I highly recommend looking up into the open heart meditation. Now, search for it online. Uh, there's and look into that. So, moving on. Another thing I want to talk about is also dieting. A lot of individuals with autism are, have a lot of allergies. They have a lot of toxins in them, a lot of metals. You know, and how how do we get rid of those metals? What if they're allergic to casein products, milk, gluten, wheat products? Well, I recommend you know looking into books on on fasting, books on uh, juicing, and and maybe trying to go for a, a almost vegetarian, you know, maybe 75% vegetarian diet for your child. Maybe fasting every now and then, having your child fast, you know, once a month or once a week, however much to get those toxins out of them, and going a more healthier diet. You know, you know, instead of buying all that junk food, you know, start buying fruits and vegetables. Now, moving on. Another thing I want to talk about, well, as a little side note, let's talk about the law of attraction. The law of attraction is focusing your thoughts on the outcome that you want. And I strongly believe that if you focus your thoughts and see the outcome, that it will be achieved eventually. And also just keeping a positive frame of mind. Now, you cannot change the way something is, but you, can also, but you can change the way you look at something. You can change the way you look at your child. You can change the way you see them. You know, you have to, don't perceive them as lacking something. Don't perceive them as incomplete or not whole. Because they are complete and whole. They are who they are. And, and that's the way it is. So accept them for who they are and see them for who they are beneath all that. See them. Don't see, you know, the, yes, they have flaws, but you got to see beyond that and see the person beyond that. And this is a little side note. I'm not usually one to make a rant here, but I, I want to say first and foremost is that for parents with kids, you need to stop comparing your kids to other kids or other, you know, a lot of parents seem to attack other parents' parenting skills or they compare their kids to others. You know, don't compare your kids to someone else's kids. All right, don't do that. As a matter of fact, you know, when you start comparing and stuff that you're, you're gonna see yourself as less you're gonna, you know really when we compare kids to other kids it's we're really comparing ourselves to to other parents and, and you know and we try to make 
make yourselves look bad. You know, don't don't do that. And so, uh, a good book to start with learning about the law of attraction and focusing your thoughts and controlling your thoughts is The Secret. Many people have heard of it. Um, I don't think it's the best book out there, but it's a good introductory book because you know it, it introduces you to the concept. I don't think it goes into as much detail as possible. You know, one thing to keep in mind is that if you if you're focusing your th image and you want something negative to happen for someone else, you're also wanting the same for yourself in return. At least it's my belief. You know, uh, if you when you create more negative, it's going to come back to you. So creating negative causes negativity. Creating positive causes more positive. The more positive you are, the more positive you create the more positivity that will come back to you. And I believe that if you focus on seeing your child being verbal one day, or making friends, getting that job, getting married, that eventually they will get there. You just have to believe in them. Another thing I want to quickly discuss is uh, energy work and Reiki. Um, someone who goes to my support group does Reiki, and, and I believe in Reiki. I've had Reiki done to me myself, and I can feel its effects on me, and I believe that you know, uh, autistics are very in tune to the energy that Reiki provides, and so Reiki is a form of energy work, and I believe that is definitely something worth looking into. Just as a quick thing, I want to remind people who are new to this video series that I run a support group in Claremont, California. It meets on Mondays from 6 to 8 30 p.m., so if you live in California and you're interested in attending my support group, just send me a message. All right, thank you. And before I close, I just want to let you know that my next video, we're going to discuss more treatments, uh, but we're going to discuss the not so alternative ones. We're going to discuss ABA, the Sunrise Program, Floor Time, Medication, and other treatment programs. So be there for my next video because I promise you that's going to be very exciting. So thank you and have a most wonderful day.